Hello everyone, uh, my name is Susanne Flach. I'm a trainee in ear, nose and throat surgery, head and neck surgery at the Department of Otorhinolaryngology and head and neck surgery at the LMU um, Hospital in Munich, Germany. Um, myself and my group, uh, we are interested in um, head and neck squamous cell carcinoma. We've been um, conducting a prospective um, monocentric clinical study um, called the Lioness study, um, which uh, for the past four years, which is uh, a study um, on patients with head and neck squamous cell carcinoma, stages 1 to 4b, who received um, surgery with curative in uh, intent at our institution. Um, we've been collecting um, blood and saliva samples pre and post operatively and during clinical follow up and we've um, been analyzing those samples for the presence of circulating cell free tumor DNA, which is the cellular fraction um, in the uh, plasma um, originating from the tumor. The aims of our study were to evaluate um, ctDNA um, as a biomarker for surgical tumor clearance postoperatively and um, as a biomarker for um, clinical uh, for a molecular level recurrence um, during follow up. Enrolled 76 patients uh, in our study and um, we've um, extracted tumor DNA um, from the resector specimen conducted um, whole exome sequencing and designed um, personalized um, ctDNA assays um, to um, detect uh, ctDNA during clinic follow-up and postoperatively. Um, uh, overall, we had a very good um, baseline ctDNA detection rate in 87% um, of plasma samples and 82% um, of saliva samples. And when um, analyzing ctDNA in plasma and or saliva, we could increase our detection rate to 93% preoperatively. Um, Postoperatively, um, we were able to detect ctDNA in um, patients with a median lead time of 160 days prior to clinically confirmed um, recurrence. Um, and that in uh, included patients um, where we were able to detect ctDNA um, immediately postoperatively, so detecting molecular residual disease, um, also in patients who did not um, receive adjuvant treatment, and those patients had um, an almost or well, pretty much a 100% risk of uh, recurrence. And that um, shows the um, potential of um, ctDNA as a biomarker to potentially guide um, adjuvant treatment in that patient population, but also to potentially implement um, early um, ther therapies um, when um, there's still a chance of cure um, prior, like when, when patients received uh, or like patients had um, had a recurrence. Um, so I think I'm yeah. Those are very promising um, results, and I think. Um, the implementation of um, ctDNA for detection of molecular residual disease and for detection of early recurrence in this patient cohort um, holds a very high high potential. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.